What's going on, folks out there? Amos Morales the third here, standing with Newman's Ronnie Lamarck Jr. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your recruitment. Obviously, uh, where, where are you going? I'm gonna go to LSU. Preferred walk on, thankfully. Um, I had a couple of other schools interested in me, like Arkansas, Ole Miss, Wofford, uh, Dartmouth, and Air Force. But I just really felt like LSU. The coaching staff, first off, they're just they're all good people. They're honest with you, know, they're not going to doctor it up, they're just going to tell you how it is. Like, if you're not doing well, they're like, hey, you're not doing well, I want you to do better because we want you. Like, for instance, with the camp, when, if I ran around and I'd get in front of Greg, Coach Frank would come up to me, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be doing this, you know. It's like, all right, okay, thank you. Like, just coaching me, not saying, oh, you're wonderful, you're great, you do everything perfect. And then, just, it's an hour away from home. So I can get far enough away from my parents, but <laughs> still close enough where I can see him on the weekends if I want to. Looks like H-back and possibly tight end. That kind of depends on when I get up there, how I perform, and what really suits me best. Coach Frank said it best saying he's going to, uh, the coaching staff's going to put me wherever I can make the most impact on the field, and as soon as possible. Like as soon as I can make the most impact. Well, we had a good season. I, unfortunately, suffered a couple of injuries. That really sucked, but I mean, it was still awesome watching my team do well. And then I came back for another two or three games, and I was playing real well. I was feeling good, but I still had a shoulder nagging me, and against our rivals, Riverside, I used it uh, to the point of like no return, and I had to get surgery on my labrum. And uh, that sucked, not being able to finish off my senior season and just watching everyone else play, but it was still awesome to get to the semifinal. Been in the semifinals, I think, in 20 something years, and just being a part of that team, like I know we could, we could do it and everything, and just seeing the guys do it, it was just awesome to watch. All right, now dealing with those injuries the way you did, and having the senior season not finish off the way you had hoped, the fact that you're getting a chance to, you know, go play at the next level, you know that you still got more football to play, is it some kind of consolation, if, if any? It's, I mean, it's really a blessing. Like, I, I always dreamed of playing at LSU when I was little, always watching them. And just for it to be actually happening, it's surreal. It really is. Whether it's a full off or just a preferred walk on, I'm happy. Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson is a freak athlete. I've never seen anyone faster in my life. And then Xavier's a dog. Xavier, there's a Larry too. They're, they're awesome, and then Foster Monroe, uh, he was on my official visit up there, and he's a really cool guy. I can't wait to see him up there. And same thing with Josh Graden, the Australian. He's going to be, uh, he might be my dad. I mean, he's 21 coming in as a freshman. We, we, gave, we gave him some stuff for that, but he's a really cool guy. Um, I think it's just going to be, it's going to be a fun class. We're just, I mean, everyone's just really cool and likes, likes that guy.